الرئيس الرئيس لبيت كنت الرئيس الجمعية الأردنية للرعاية الوظيفية وهو طبعا فينا أتفاجئ بخير وصلت صدر وعن عنوان المحاضرة أقول بارك بخير إن جورج بساكسس ستوري وي هوب دكتور محمود أن يو كان يو ميشن سامثينغ أوف يور أيدياز أكوردينغ تو ذا باك أوف وات يو ديد إن أور سوسايتي In this short video, we will talk about our experience in Jordan with cancer palliative care. I would like to make it brief because most of the things we need to mention already mentioned this early morning. But the difference will be in the early morning, we will just talk to the decision makers about our experience and expectations. Now we would like to talk with the professionals, how did we make it, what was our dream, and how did we reach our targets. Because it is such an experience, which is not very long, it's only two years experience. So we need to share with you our experience, our experience, how we make it. Well, we start with conclusion, not the end, by the beginning. Conclusion is building capacity for palliative care, is <coughs> the primary store for preventing palliative care in Jordan, and maybe in other Arab countries. And that's our conclusion, that's it. So, how will it that? First of all, we'd like to talk about uh, the current condition or the situation in the care in Jordan. What about the bridge or the administration project? And when it comes to, to Jordan Patrick Care Initiative, how will it start it and what we did? As you all know, Patrick Care is all about relieving suffering and pain and promoting quality of life for patients with chronic diseases. Not only cancer. Cancer, people with chronic diseases, senior people, elderly people people who have challenges in their life. Global movement, as Dr. Kuda mentioned, it is actually a global movement. All uh, uh, medical societies, organizations now, under the umbrella of WHO, are working to implement palliative care. It's a global campaign, actually. Now, in Jordan, we know that uh, now we have uh, hundreds of patients and thousands of patients, actually, in bad need for palliative care, including cancer patients and people with the chronic disease. What about cancer patients? We know that uh, more than two thirds actually of, of patients who need palliative care, who, who are at late stages, who need palliative care, doesn't have access to palliative care and pain management. And I would repeat again, it is a shame in this century that we are unable to provide uh, the optimal uh, pain relief for these patients. It is unfair. It is unfair that we spend millions of dollars for credit measures, but we forget the dignity pain, pain relief, and home care for these patients. About 10 years ago, it was this model. And actually, this model, which was adapted for other countries, was first started in Jordan. A people who came from the WHO and from San Diego and Patrick Care wanted to implement Patrick Care in Jordan. And I met the people who draw this picture. They say, we need education. No, 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 is that enough? We also need education. If we train people, but there's no medication, we will do nothing. But if we treat them, if we train them, and if this is available, and there is no organization or support, it will not work. So they come up with this, making sure we have proper education, if this education is available, implementation, and above all, we need the help of the uh, Ministry of Health and other people to support these evolving fields. And it succeeded in Jordan. It was the first country to implement this project. And then they made a copy of the paste. And uh, more than 15 countries took the same principle and they applied it. In Jordan, we are proud that uh, about eight years ago, Planet Care started at KSCC. And now Planet Care at KSCC is a model for Planet Care, not only in Jordan, but also in the region. It provided wonderful service, actually. And I was honored to be one of the staff who helped in this uh, facility. But uh, again, with KCC alone, the, the uh, uh, national consumption of morphine increased about tenfold in less than 10 years. Not only at KCC, at national level. So you can see the success at KCC. We provided full house palliative care. It is an uh, inpatient unit, outpatient unit, and home care service. We are really proud of that. But the limitation. Despite the success, only 10% of cancer patients 
receive good palliative care. You know why? Because the SEC does not accept patients at advanced stages. When you go to KSCC, if you are at early stage, they accept you. If you are at late stage, they don't accept you because they will to spare the beds for people who have potential for care technicians. We don't or not to agree with them, this is the fact. The fact is that they have no place. Where to go, the places are really limited. So this is the limitation. Again, only 10% of people are cancer, uh, was cancer. What about people who does not have, have cancer, chronic diseases? There is nothing. We have lack of specialities, poor awareness, limited resources. After that, uh, Georgia Advanced Care Society was established, as it was launched in January 2011. This time, 10 years from now. And we looked into that triangle. You remember the triangle? Medicine is not available in most of the facilities. What about the policy? We have problems with the policy. What about uh, support to private administrations? We realize that we need to forget everything and to focus. And this is my message for people from other countries. You will have resistance from decision makers. You will have challenges with medication. Will you have challenges with implementation? And this is natural. Don't call it resistance. Changing situation in your country does not happen in two months or two years. It will take maybe 10 years. And this happened even in the United States of America. Dr. Johar here, maybe he agree with me. It's always difficult to change situation. Our message, look at the red line. Private care teams in all countries, Georgia and other countries, just focus on this. This is our experience. Just focus on yourself. Focus on training and education. This is the success story. We are only two years now, and we did all this. It's all about building capacity. We train eight public hospitals. We train Al Bashir Hospital, Oncology PM, and we, moving forward, we have now national palliative care guidelines. We started the diploma of palliative care one year, and we have all, already people international distance from our, our, our countries. We have a, a, a master degree of palliative care with Jordan University. We have three days workshop, which we do to, to it every one month. Our, our goal is to train 500 staff in one year. 500 Staff, which will be distributed all over the country. We have witness house, the, the first group therapy sitting for, for cancer patients and people with chronic diseases. This is the eight public hospital we trained. This is the one month training. And then, as we, as we mentioned, the palliative care uh, guidelines, and we introduced palliative care into the curriculum of 60 year students at Hashem University. Diploma in palliative care and master degree in palliative care. Diploma in collaboration with Jordan uh, German University. And as we mentioned, this is a three months workshop and then wellness house. This is the sixth thing we, we did. Again, all what you see here, it is only an experience with two years. I will tell you the truth. When we started this palliative care, we will be only six people sitting in the room. Dr. Mustafa Bino, Dr. Talat Dojea, and others, we have been sitting together. That was our dream. But did, you, did it cross your mind that we'll be here in two years? Actually, we need to admit, we didn't imagine that we didn't happen. This is not because we mean such intelligent people, not from us. It's first of all, we call it Tawfiq from Allah, who actually helped us to, to reach this. It actually will help our friends from the Ministry of Health, from the uh, universities, and from the society. And again, this is the conclusion. The conclusion based on our experience, when you have such challenges, only focus and remember, always and always, building capacity in palliative care is the cornerstone for success. Thank you very much.